We are on the Guy Ranger Ferry, and I assume this is Guy Ranger. And this um, ramp with switchbacks goes out into the fjord, it straightens out, and cruise ship passengers get on that way. Here's a view looking down the fjord. This is about an hour ride, I'm told. <laughs> this is Guy Ranger as we depart. And in the back, there's quite a waterfall. Some people have been busy over there. A family built a farm way the heck up here and a hundred years ago they said this chunk of rock would fall down and so they abandoned the farm and the rock hasn't fallen down yet. There's a closer view of this farmhouse. They did have the kids tied on tethers which sounds like a good idea. Right next, these waterfalls, there should be seven. The waterfalls here are called the Seven Sisters. And the Seven Sisters are directly on the other side. This is a guy. This is a male waterfall that's interested in them. But, you know, never the twain shall meet. Over here on the port side, way up high, I can see a couple of buildings. And this was a very prosperous farm. <laughs> they had horses and cows and sheep and all kinds of things. And when the, to get to town, they had a big ladder that went down here to the water. When they knew the tax collector was coming, they just pulled the ladder up. At least that's the story. farm was up in here, quite a ways up from the water's edge. Here's the farm where people lived until the 60s and they had lots of fruit trees and sheep and goats. 60 kilos of apricots one year. They had a nice farm here but like most farms it was abandoned. It was a harsh life and they didn't want to do it anymore. We are now leaving the gate of the fjord and turning left into the St. Ilksjord. On your right hand, this fjord leads all the way to the Atlantic coastline near Orlesund. There are several other side fjords well worth a visit. White House is our bus driver's home. This is where we been. There's my big picture here. <laughs> Beautiful waterfall in this little town. A little white church. And here we have a factory outlet. And they have 50 to 70 percent off this time of year. Probably seen their last cruise ship. First off, it's back road. Nobody's really going through here. So it makes it special, it makes it unique. And uh, you're going to see a lot of these little. Uh, Seder homes. Now imagine they didn't have as big of farms back then, much smaller. 
yeah, kids you stayed up with them in the summer. The men were down below having a good time on the farm. <laughs> I bet they were too. I think they were going to the saloon. Those, eaters, right? Those, 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 those are eaters, right? These are uh -huh, some homes Edarch, where the right women here. spent the summer milking the. Back with his family. Oh, this is not. I'm not the making this story the story. These are his. That's our bus the drivers' right, the homes. Yeah. Edars, your driver. Really? Those are his? Yes, from his family. Can you stay in Water is so clear. One the window. I don't think anybody's renting these out right now. <laughs> using as a little hush. And you know what, also, that it, right here, you're looking at foundation. See how deep these go right here? That was the heat. Well, the cattle, you didn't have a lot of cattle. You're not talking about hundreds of cattle back then. It was down below, and they are up above. But you're talking about the 1800s, too. We'll be having lunch down here where royalty used to dine in the past. And then just let the left. What do you think? Green houses. Mushrooms. The fox farm. Yes, PETA is not out here. Because they use it for fur. Oh, yeah. There is a cruise ship down here today. Hotel Union and Restaurant. This will be an HGTV. Yeah, yeah. This is probably a 20 year old. This hotel is more than 100 years old, and our other bus driver and two partners owned it and sold it five years ago. They restored it. We got a dragon up there, too. Feel that uh, one thing they should have done is they should have. This is the entrance to where we're going to be having lunch. Sally, one of the people on our tour, is a pianist. She's also an Air Force major pilot. And that's her husband. Edvard Grieg played on this piano. We're going to his house tomorrow. <laughs> and Dottie here is at 48 talk tours. Another one of the rooms. A nice corner fireplace, a real fireplace with real wood burning in it. Look like some old pipes. Notice a detail painting, toll painting. Some of those stencils. Hmm. Trying to decide if this is a museum or a hotel. Sitting area. Typical old fashioned shower. That's all there is to keep the water in place. This one's quite nice. 
Oh, all the, the white. So and we are well drawing lit. the chains on the chandeliers. We rode down this narrow country road to visit our regular bus driver on his mandatory day off. Commemorative rock of, uh, of the, the date. That's all it says, uh, May 26, 1908. What a day a massive rock slide here in 1908 uh, created a lake buried part of the village underneath the new lake. Okay, there's the road that got submerged. On the left, you'll see foundations of those little sheds. Foundations about the houses. The rock slide didn't get them, but the river got dammed up and um, inundated these little farmhouses. And then we returned to the Hotel Alexandra for one more night. And this evening, 10 of us had a very delightful dinner in this private dining room.